In this tutorial, we'll look at how to make your Bootstrap 5 cards the same height. All right, so I have a simple example here. And right now I just copied the cards from the, uh, well, example they have in the documentation and I modified them a little bit. Right now they have the exact same content basically, so there's no issue. Now what can happen sometimes if, if we go in the HTML here, right? So here I have these cards. What can happen is that one of them gets more content. Right, so I'm just gonna add more text here to this one. And if I refresh now, you can see this one has more text now and therefore this one is taller than the other one. So the way to solve this is to make all, right? So if, if you're using the, the grid system, which you probably should be, right? So if you have these cards sitting in a column in a row, what you can do is you can just go to these cards and you can set the height to 100%, right? So if we just set it on to 100% on all the cards, they're always going to be 100% of their parent element, which is their, is that row actually, right? So now you can see um, they're all the same height, right? So just add H100, the utility class from Bootstrap to the cart. Now with responsiveness, you still may run into an issue by, uh, when you do that. Um, so here, let's see, let's see. Um, I'm gonna use call here, which means it will never change. It will always be um, this layout. So it's going to be very cramped. Yeah. So here at some point it gets very cramped and you get this very, uh, you know, a lot of white space here. So you do want to have like a stacking layout at some point, right? So if you're using this grid system, you can decide at what breakpoint you want to go from like a stacked layout, vertical layout to this layout, right? So the horizontal layout basically because Bootstrap is mobile first. So from their perspective, you're basically starting like this. You don't actually have to do that, but that's simply how the system works. So you can decide at medium, it should become um, this layout. So let me quickly show you that. So I'm gonna make this column MD4, which means at the medium breakpoint, this column is gonna get four units out of the out of the 12 in this row. So initially it's gonna be stacked. That's, that's the default layout in Bootstrap. So then here, when it crosses that medium breakpoint and bigger, all of those columns will get four units. And so you get that horizontal layout at some point, right? You may also want to have some vertical space here so you can add a vertical gutter, right? You can add something like GY3. And now this also has some vertical space. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.